You are tuned into the Armenian Radio Ave, New Jersey on 89.5 FM, the radio station of Seton Hall University in South Orange, New Jersey. We thank all of our listeners who are with us today, those that are not with us today, listening to us through the iHeartRadio app or anywhere in the world through our website, www.armenianradionj.net. We are celebrating our 40th year on the air, and we thank you for being with us. As most of our listeners know, we've been uh, discussing the ongoings in Armenia for several weeks since the uh, election of Nikol Pashinyan as the new Prime Minister of Armenia. And joining me in the studio is Vartan Asturian, who has been with us uh, for several weeks now. Vartan, thank you for being with us. Thank you for inviting me. I appreciate it. Absolutely. As well as Norad Magadichian. Norad is no stranger to us at all, being a former member of the Armenian Radio family, still an honorary member, and we thank you for being with us. Yeah, uh, but we're gonna we're gonna jump right into it. Um, Vartan, I'm gonna start with you. Uh, people are calling this maybe if this is a chess game, and we're gonna look at it that way. There's a lot of different pieces and a lot of different things that are involved here. So uh, Pashinyan, let's call it say, say he checked the Republican Party. But uh, it's not checkmated. There's still a lot going on, and I want to hear your thoughts on that. It's more like three-dimensional chess, quite <laughs> frankly. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's going on that we are not aware of. Uh, we're here in New Jersey or New York. Um, but what I do think that is going on is, uh, from the external standpoint, external world leaders are keenly watching Pashinyan because a new leader is always tested very early to see what they're made out of. So. He, on the one hand, has external people focusing on him, looking at him, studying him, analyzing him, looking for any weak points, strong points, who is he surrounding himself with. So from an external level, he's got to deal with that. Mm -hmm. On the internal level, there's still people there that have serious, um, strong feelings toward him and trying to undermine him in many, many ways. Um, but uh, they have to find out what his agenda is they have to find out what he's uh, going to do, how far he's going to go with his government. But uh, there's some, some indications that uh, there's no checkmate in sight. There's just a lot of uh, pawns moving around, some people being dismissed from their positions. Um, and it's from an anal analytical point of view. What can we say about what Pashinyan is doing? Uh, because it's just constantly moving around. But one thing we can say, I think, with some degree of um, certitude is that he is um, on the world stage and he's doing the best that he can. I think that um, so far he's getting a, a B-plus from my standpoint. You know, you're, you're saying um, on, the, on the world stage, and that's obviously super important. There's a lot of focus on this. CNN, um, let's say all the major news uh, outlets covered this, and we're, we're not used to that as Armenians. We're definitely not used to that, uh, to seeing this. But it, it's something different. It's something kind of like that revolt, that the revolution that happened that catches people's eyes, and and that's really important. Um, but so the Republicans, in your opinion, are kind of watching this. Who else is watching this? You said there's several people that are watching this. Also, some of the minor parties in Armenia are watching this. Um, what what I want to talk about is a little bit. Uh, digressing from that a little bit mm -hmm. is, is as this was going on, I've been here at the Armenia Radio Hour, we've been talking about this for a long time. Yeah. One of the things that I learned, the most important thing is not who's saying things, but who's been silent on things. Mm -hmm. And yeah. while this whole Pashinyan revolution, the Velvet Revolution has been going on, a lot of extremely powerful Armenian groups, whether they're in the diaspora or in Armenia, have been remained silent. And partially because of uh, political expediency. They didn't know if it was going to work or not, so they said, let's stay on the sidelines. And that's one thing that I think that um, is concerning to me, because if they believe that uh, Pashinyan was the right thing for the country, what's the best thing for the Armenian public, then why were they so silent? Why were they... It seemed like they were complicit. They were complicit. They should have said something. For, for groups of people, you know, Armenians are very vocal people, as you know. <laughs> Uh, it's amazing. They were stunningly silent uh, as this was going on. So a lot of people did speak out, people like me, <laughs> uh, and some people didn't speak out. And I, I think that that's a question that we should put over a lot of the more powerful organizations' heads. Why were you so quiet during this whole th situation? Yeah, I was going to address that a little bit later, and that's something we can come back to sure. about these organizations. Uh, I want to move to Noda for a minute. 
uh, and just we'll talk about the main focus, elections, early elections, try to get that um, the assembly, the parliament, to really be all of Pashinyan, Pashinyan's men and not return to the old, let's say men and women, return to the old Republican uh, majority. And, and let's let's get your opinion. Who wants what with the elections and where uh, are we going? The Iran, you have to excuse me. I would like to digress for a couple of yeah, minutes yeah. from the topic of the, the, today. Yeah. And in Armenian, I have a question for you. 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 Եվ ուրիշվիրմ ունա ունինք եմա չեմ ուզեր անունը հիտ շետ կգուդանք, բայց այսօր հունիս երեկ է շատ չանցավ Մայս 28-ին, անցյալ գիրագի մենք հոս պետք է լայնք դշպաղտապաշ ինչ-ինչ բատճաններով բեսպոլի խաղ � Եվ ալոնք որոնք հետովիտ թիրեն մեր առաջին Հանրապետության Հայորամյագի դարետարցին արիթով, որ այս արիթը չունեցակ ոն է ես ռադյոգային են։ Եգրոտ ուզեմ շունորավորել մեզի ծեզի կլխավորապար և վարթանին Let's go back to the main topic yeah. and talk about what's happening in Armenia. You know, a couple of weeks ago we were saying uh, this issue is very important, it's timely. In Armenian, it's so beautiful. I don't know in English exactly what, how would you say Azmiagan. It's timely, important yeah. today, it's timely. It's timely yeah. uh, uh, because we, some, this was very new to us. And it was, what happened in Armenia was very new to a lot of people that in a couple of weeks, without anybody being hurt or any uh, gunshots, whatever, there was a revolution. And it was a successful, successful revolution, we called it. However, if this was a race, nobody yet crossed the finish line. The beginning and the first stage was a very successful one. Now, what's... In the future, what I am worried about, I was talking with my friend Vartan about this too. From day one, we knew that Nikol Pashinyan's main target first is to depose, say, Ser Sarkisian, mm -hmm. which happened, and the youth and the people were with him. And uh, the, the, the beautiful thing about us Armenians was that for the first time mm -hmm. I saw Ar Armenian youth that were born after the independence got involved. They really acted as citizens of that country and they exercised their right of freedom and they got what they got. Now, from here on, this is where the real chess game, like Vartan was saying, if in Armenia, you know, Armenia is the only, only country, by the way, where in elementary schools, chess is an obligatory <laughs> course. Uh, so I'm assuming everybody, right. politicians and Ser Sarkisian and Heranu Shagopian and uh, and even Nigol Pashinyan, they're very good chess players. Now, Nigol's main target was to have a new parliamentary elections, because how are you going to know who really represents the country? Nigol Pashinyan came through the street. We like it or not, it wasn't a provision in the constitution of the, uh, Armenia how to change a, a, a prime minister. It happened. We know how it happened. Now, there isn't a provision, however, in the Constitution that says when and how we go to new parliamentary elections. This is now where everybody is starting going to pull and push how to arrange that. I believe Armen, the president, Armen Sarkisian, who is playing so far, at least PR-wise, such a beautiful job, going out, eating ice cream with the kids, mm -hmm. dancing on the streets. I mean, I'm sure he was not doing these things in London, but he became a master of PR, and he's doing a great job. I'm hoping and wishing that he continues this good involvement with his charisma to kind of negotiate and bring this election, the, uh, the, the Ardahed, Ardagark election, uh, as soon as possible. You don't want this thing to drag because the longer it drags, and now a lot of outside, from my point of view, this is purely uh, subjective, uh, outside forces are going to penetrate because we were very proud. And I believe personally when everybody, Nikol Pashinyan says, this is made in Armenia. Guys, don't make conspiracy theories. I never was involved. I'm not a conspiracy theorist person per se anyway. 
But now, the longer this thing goes on, I start personally getting worried. People are sitting out there in dark rooms, smoking cigars and having scotch or mm -hmm. cognac and thinking how to go get involved and how to, to get what they want. So, Digo Pashinian wants to do it in three months. Harabe Dagans, of course, it's very clear they don't want it in three months. They want to push this as long as possible because with the hope that the longer time there will be more disappointments within the people. We know very well if this thing was held this week or next week, Nigo Pashinian and his group will wipe off the elections. Right. However, maybe that's not even good for, for the country either. Within a year's time, if it happens, in six months, if it happens, maybe we will get the exact representation and then we will know who is the majority because today it's very abnormal. You have a, a prime minister with his cabinet, 15, 16, how many members they have now? I don't know, 15 or 16 members. And you have the, the majority, which is the opposition. And he's supposed now, another uh, uh, way to, with the Constitution provision is when Nigor Pashinyan, 7th of June, goes to the Parliament with his cabinet and he offers his platform and his plans, this is what we're going to do, they have to vote. If the Parliament votes down twice his program, the Parliament is automatically dissolved and, and the Prime Minister is out and then they will plan a new elections. I mean, we could talk hours about this, yeah. however, it's not easy. Nigol Pashinyan doesn't want the elections to happen under the control of the present Electoral Central Committee who are appointed by the present majority. Uh, Martin, I want to go back to you for a second, just based on what, um, what I was just saying. What, what is, 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 does the danger exist because you know, this other uh, faction wants to delay the elections. Does the opportunity exist? Because it was a revolution that got him in, yep. that he could be overthrown through another revolution. Yeah, but and Nora, that's kind of going to eat him up. What Nora says is very valid. Um, but I still go back to what I said many years. Um, the, the political capital is very important in politics. He's got all of the people singing songs for Nicole Pashinian. I've heard all of them, trust me. Uh, he's got the culture, people dancing in the street. The earlier he could do this election, the better for him. But what, what Noyar says is very, very true, very Machiavellian. Uh, the other side, I always said, they're going to put up resistance. Um, they are doing PR campaigns and all that other stuff. But they can actively, and this is where the danger is in national politics. It happens in U.S. politics, too. It's unpatriotic, in my opinion, to actively try to undermine a prime minister of any country. And it can be done. A country like America is much harder. A country like Armenia is much easier. For example, you can raise gas prices. You can make it very hard to get electricity. There's monopolies already. They can mess with food prices, sugar, coffee, things, life necessities. And they could say, oh, you wanted this president? You wanted this prime minister? You got him. Now look at it. It's, it's worse off. So what he needs to do is play that three-dimensional chess, but also they only have to play checkers. They can raise the price of everything. They have the control. And this is what, you're like, oh, Vartan's talking about oligarchs again. But the reality is, if they control the prices, they can blame, who's, who's blameworthy if the gas prices go up, if the electricity goes up, if the food prices go up, if unemployment goes up, and then all this elation and happiness Nothing came from it. Who do you blame? They're like, oh my God, we just got a prime minister that's impotent. And that's that's what they can do. Now, I don't think that's going to happen, but to me that's also un unpatriotic. But he's got to make some extremely fast moves, some brilliant moves, um, but so far he has. He's got to continue to do that because they can, you know, the public is very fickle. They can change on you and turn on you in a heartbeat. And he's got to do that right away. And... Um, and, and these people were humiliated in the Republican Party. And people don't forget. Now, I came from Armenia. I know a little bit of Armenian culture and thought process. People don't forget. And uh, there could be some uh, active measures to undermine this prime minister. So, Just um, go ahead. Before I go Diran, if I may add to the same question, yeah, what Vartan said, yeah. I believe, too, like Vartan said, he's doing a great job so far. I'll give him an A+. Plus. And to your question, if they can bring him, I do not believe anybody 
as of within the next foreseen near future can bring him down mm -hmm. because if the people go out again on the mm -hmm. streets if anything it will go to support him and I, I have this feeling intuition that uh, if he sees that uh, mm -hmm. they are playing kind of dirty they're not playing nationalistically they are not just uh, everybody's after his own position yeah. he might go back again to the people and the people will respond okay. You know, I, before uh, Nora, we're going to go to you. Hi, I don't know if Kidem or Pamo, Pamo must be closing. But uh, just you said something about him being an oligarch, and he 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 wasn't. I guess consider some people call him an old elite, an oligarch back in the day. What I mean, how is he addressing that right now? In terms of, I mean, what's he saying? People are saying, well, the naysayers are saying, well, you used to be one of them. Now you're putting on this show for us, and you're going to go back to being that. Absolutely. Um you know, I went to a party yesterday with a whole bunch of Armenians and my, my friends, my dear friends. And why am I bringing this up? Because I care about the man on the street and what they're saying here. And, you know, other than the political analysts and, you know, people that are in the know and so forth, what does the average Armenian in America think of what's going on? You know what they think? They think this. They say, you know what? I don't believe this. I believe that all these people were engaged in kleptocracy and they ate a lot and they got full. Now we need a new group of people who say, listen, it's our turn to eat, it's our turn to make money, and it's going to be a cyclical situation where everybody takes their turn. That's extremely unsustainable and, and uh, a catastrophe for Armenians. So to go back to what you're saying is, I don't think that's going to happen yet. I hope it doesn't happen. But if it does happen, Armenia is going to be an enormous amount of turmoil because they can't trust their political process. And I said before, what they should do in order to avoid that kleptocracy is an independent judiciary, uh, a prosecution that's willing to prosecute, and no immunity. And uh, I'm not saying that because I know there's an MIT professor saying, oh, well, that's a revenge politics. Mm -hmm. I'm not for revenge politics. But if you literally stole a billion dollars that belongs in the Armenian treasury, it is your obligation as the prime minister to claw that money back it, by any means possible. Get the bank account numbers from Europe, Cyprus, wherever they are, freeze that money, even of the oligarchs, bring that money back into the country and repatriate the country with money and people. And that's what he needs to do right away, though. Every day that passes by that he's status quo, the people are going to say, I knew it. We blew it with this guy. And that's my honest opinion. I have no attachments to anybody sure. but yeah. me. So. Yeah, that's my thoughts. People are definitely uneasy. I mean, we see that in, Amer in America, too. And I mean, let alone a country that's not as advanced as America. That's right. It's certainly going to be that way. Uh, Nora, I, I want to talk about the repatriation of the Minister of Diaspora. Sure. Uh, 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 Minister of Diaspora. I think it's a good thing. But I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get the money from the government. I'm not sure if the government. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get the money from the government. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get the money from the government. I'm not sure if i Right, Alexander. That's right. He was 27. Anyway, whatever. Yes, Shadurakhemir Hubardem. Or as can you say, sir, not a good man. Speak in a good way. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, Inca Serdaze Gandhi March, the March of Sotiev Ador, Basim Mera Amin Maramas Tuner as Kaila Shavin, inch with the Hatin, inch Kalkark with the tenet, so the test for Helazi the Ramane. I the Selo Hantets Kidenk or Havana Parbeki has Ports are Tunichuni, Naman Avantia or Spirki Hartseruka. Ima Turunek Sayota Kasau Daregan, Hyastan Sima Hamar, Hyastan in Erkin Hartsurum, Chamana Par. Aveli love kidnal, can't they ever speak to it? Cordunis, for the speaker, I specify to send 
Pazma godoşa vor gen tanıyı mı gen mani? Spirk handle'ın ele gusak sütünleri, gazma gel bütünleri, pare sirakan, matta sirakan, ramga var, hınçak yan taşnak sakan, hadi türün çeye. So ad, ador amar yes, liseyi sireli uh, uh, nakararim vor, yep şat uşatrutyam, yep aranc acabarelu, husalo vor hin kadrere lıman dun çıgır gets, որ դեպ հրանու շագոպյանը դիգին ագոպյանը որ սկանչելի քո զրավ իրականության մեջ ոչ ինչ են ասնախարարությունը մեջ տեղբերավ ես հրանուշին հետ անցտական որևէ գա փարապերություն չունի բայց պետք է դանք քրեդիտը ուր որ քրեդիտը գբատկանի եւ հուսալով որ այդ փորձարու անցերը բահեց նախարարը այդպես բարոն հայրաբեդյանը այդպես շարունակե ուրիշ քրիտիկ մնա գնեի իր հայդարարությունը մեկում որ երկու խորհրդարանի հարցը Հաճոր չափադը մեկ անգամ են հայտարարեց որ երկրորդ խորհրդարան մուգուզես խորհրդարանին մեկը հիմնել խորհրդարանին մեկը սփյուրկա հայրու համար հայաստանի մեջ what was the english word he used double uh, parliament one and legislative ուրեմն ադալ ժամանակ պետք է առնե պետք է մտածե որովհետև սփյուրկի մեջ շատ կազմակերպություններ շատ փարերարներ շատ ֆիլանտրոպիստներ պոլիտիկոսներ ասոր մասին մտածած են սփյուրկի մեջ այսպես parliament մգամ ստեղծել եւ գիտենք որ որ կան դժվար բանե ադոր համար բիլիսեի բարոն հայրաբեդյանին այդ երկրորդ parliamenti հարցը take your time it should be the last thing on your agenda նախ ժողովները որ ես անսաբես երկու անգամ սփյուրկ հայրենիք համաժողովներուն ներկա կտնվազեմ որ նախորդ բանը նախարարը նախարարուին գազբագերված էր հուսալով որ նույն բանը գշարնակե արիտ գունենակ նստելու իրենոտ իրենոտ խոսելու ինչու ոչ միտք է սկանստեր վարտանին գսեի փորձեն քալչապատ մշապատ իրեն հրավիրել եւ թող հերացայն է ռադիոգային եւ մեզի մասնակցի որովհետեւ եթե սփյուրկի նախարարությունը ասում է սփյուրկի մասը գազմ է ինքը սփյուրկի եթե հայերուն սելիկ ունի խոսելիկ ունի մենք իրեն աս խոսափողները աս էրվեյվը գուդանք որքան է նյուրկ նյու ջերզի շրջանի հայության խոսք ուղեն I want I want you to hold on to that statement you just made about young and an inexperienced այս գուզեմ հարցնել հերացանի դեր ավելի լավ գլագը խորից թուն որ նախարարը ամերիկա եւ Վստահեմ բիլի կա բակային փախուս չի գա դիգա գիտենք դիգի նրանու շագոպյանին օրեն եթե սփյուրկի նախարար ես պետք է այցել ես սփյուրկը բայց այսօրվա դվյալներում մեջ հայաստանի մեջ որ նոր ընդդրություններ հիմա Նիկոլ Փաշինյանը ինչ որ սիրելի վարթան ասավ այդ շատ լավ խաղ որ գխաղա որ ռիվենջով բիդեն է վինդիկտիվ բիդել լա ավելի բարյացական բիդել է օլիգարկներու հետ դժվար օրեր գան այս օրերուն չեմ ագնգալեր որ ամայման գուկա բայց մոդի գավակային բարդականությունն է եթե սփյուրկ հայրենիքի նախարար ես ամեն է առաջ պետք է կարևոր համայնքներ այցել ես որոնց մեջ ինձի հարցնեսն է կարևորագույնը մեծ նյու յորքի շրջանն է that some of these ministers that are going to be appointed are young and inexperienced and no doubt hit, the, hit a good point you said you can be experienced in armenia but dealing with the diaspora is a totally different animal i i i partly agree with nora uh, listen i i worked on the hill after law school i worked on the hill i worked for a congresswoman and uh, the reality is um, you there is no there is no um, excuse experience trumps everything enthusiasm is great uh but you need experience knowledge and wisdom and that that a 28 year old could have experience knowledge and wisdom but the likelihood of them having relationships in overseas with uh let's say the staffers of Lavrov or Putin or something like that you need to develop that relationship over time you can't be, have a backpack at 28 years old and think that you're going to get respect from Lavrov you're not going to have it even a Lavrov is half armenian so that could be pretty good but my point is you need experience you need people with knowledge you need relationships around the world there's no you can't compensate for that do i like the youthful enthusiasm i like it but you know what's drop the backpack uh wear have a briefcase look professional because on international stage no one cares that you have a laptop that doesn't mean anything if you have a backpack that annoys me when i saw that it upset me a little bit because you're representing me i'm armenian so um my point is when you are now in a serious position with serious people you got to look serious and you know you got to dress the part 
that's why I do believe that we need experienced people. I like the enthusiasm and new blood underneath, but they need a transition, um, and that requires the knowledgeable people, in my opinion. That's, that's my position. That's Ինչպես <laughs> 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 Bedagan I tell you, I do wish for Soshi image, Nak Putin in it, Desnevetsav, or Vestaetsne, or Putin in it, Rus Hagagan Haraperu Tuner, Voreve, Sahalgam, Darperu Tuner of Vichert and Bordevadiga, as in Luchnut, Ador Mazin, Masinagan, Jamer Hosil, by Shat Urahem, yes, for Nigor Pashinian, Putin in it, Haskell Svetsav, Haskell Sutswash, Inca. Իր քլխավոր ուղություններում մեջ փոփոխություն չի դեսներ կարիք, որովհետև Հայաստանի լուրջ վտանգներ գուր կան։ Հատկե ետքը իր առաջին այցելությունը օդար երկիր եղավ Թիֆլիս քնած Վրաստան։ Որովհետև Վրաստանը մեզի համար թարերու ընթացքին շատ կարևոր թրացի եղած է, ամիջական թրացի եւ միակ քրիստոնյա թրացին է մեր։ Մյուս բոլոր երեք կողմերը մենք մահմեդականներով աշխարված ենք։ Միակ քրիստոնեն լալով անտերես մենք դժբախտ ապար հարցեր ունեցած ենք հաճախ վրացիներուն հետ մինչև անգախության առաջին հանրավերության անգախություն են քանի մ ամիս առաջ հողային հարցերով հայ վրացական բադերազմներ ալ եղան բայց նիգոր պաշինյանը նիգոր պաշինյան ուրեմն քնած վրաստան վստահեցնելու որ ինքը լավ թերմ ուրի խա որ գիտենք վրաստանը այսօր վրաստանի գացությունը ռուսերուն հետ աշա լավ չէ եւ մեր քլխավոր Paregamo vor mer uja elektragantiun uja nuita ye mer market abragner Rusia ye ameninch verastan engantsni ador amar e vor verastan aisor amene gare vor ner ye nigor pashinen atkorze skancheli ra husalov vor hachorte irani et ir haraperutyuner ge porze aveli parid la parelaver ye poloras al husank vor inchu voch ormnal arit la la baymanerov garapagi harts nuinis luzvi vor ye dendesutyun yergrin ver չի վերջո երկիրը այսպես բաշարված ճշտամիներով քոյադևել է շատ դժվար գալա եւ որ գսենք հայությունը գլքե որ երկիրը մեծամասյունը ամեն մարդ իր երկիրը գսիր է ինչու գծկեն որովհետեւ պետք եղած քորձը եգամուդը չեն գտներ եւ գծկեն որովհետեւ ի հայաստանը վայաբլ լա աբրելի կլա աշուշ շատ փապակելի է որ իր բոլոր ծրածիններ ունեն լավ հարաբերություններու մեջ լա we're going to move on to uh, Vartan. Vartan, um, we spoke about this just uh, for a moment while the music was going on. There are seven major organizations that represent the diaspora, uh, the Apostolic Church, Protestant Church, Catholic Church, Ramgalars, Tashnags, Hanchags, AGBU. These are the major ones. Should this change? Do we need more? Do we need less? What I want to hear your thoughts before we close. Well, the academic consensus has always been we need reform within our own diaspora organizations. Um, it's not a question of quantity. It's a question of quality. And the fact is, all this money that goes toward them, they're at odds, at, which means that they're actually literally going against each other. I, I'm also very critical of the the leadership of the church as well. I mean, um, that defines Armenia. All these organizations, could you imagine if we had one or two major organizations all uh, basically laser guided with one mission, we could have so much more impact in Armenia and helping it out. But that's part of the Armenian uh, culture that we do have multiple, everybody who has their own opinions. I'm not totally critical of it, but I just wish if we could imagine one central organization helping Armenia. I think it would be a bit. So we need major reform in all the diaspora groups. Thank that's you very my opinion. much, Vartan. Thank you. We appreciate it. We are a little bit short on time. I want to thank both of you very, very much. Thank you. Uh, Vartan Studyan, you've been here for several weeks. We appreciate it. Nora Margarichan, Chairman of the ADL Eastern U.S. Editing this program. Same thing. Thank, 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 thank you. 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 We, it's countless amount of numbers of lives that you touch that wait for the show, that connects them to the international Armenian community. So the service you're doing is probably immeasurable. And um, I wish it keeps going. I would hope that it keeps going because, especially in the east coast of Armenia, we don't have too many outlets like yours. And you're bringing everybody together 
Whether they agree or disagree, it doesn't matter. The most important thing is people wait for the show, and it's a very, very powerful instrument.